I think you do need some kind of diagram. Maybe it's not fully fleshed out, but you do need something. Maybe minimal, just a series of of slots or columns, for example, depending on the game. Drawing inferences, of course, is necessary. You've got to have something. But there are certain questions I would definitely prioritize. And this reflects my overall games method, which would be to do the orientation questions first, then local questions, and then finally the global ones. And if you're short on time, orientation, that's kind of a gimme if you understand the rules correctly. That's kind of a warm-up, so you could knock that out pretty easily, even if you barely understand anything of the game. And then your local if questions, they give you a jumping off point. They give you a starting point. So let's say if K is on three, you put K on slot three, and then you see whatever immediately follows from that kind of like a domino effect, and you knock those out. And maybe if you didn't make major inferences or you don't have a ton of hypotheticals, maybe you won't be able to easily do the global questions, but at least you can knock out those orientation and local ones and pick up a few easy points. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.